gamers and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to build an A10 Thunderbolt in Builder Boy for Treasure. If you guys do enjoy this tutorial, be sure to smash like and subscribe. We are so close to 10k and it would be awesome if we could hit that soon. Also, if you want, you can drop a comment down below with a suggestion for my next video. Who knows, I might choose your idea to make a tutorial on. With that being said, let's get right into the video. As always, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is place two poles on top of each other. Once you have done that, make a 3x20 platform and extend it in this direction. This aircraft will use around 2 to 3,000 blocks. I recommend that you make sure that you have these resources before continuing. Once you have done that, you need to go to the front of the aircraft and place a total of 8 blocks. These blocks will start to shape the front of the aircraft. Once you have done that, place a few blocks right here on the sides. Now extend this all the way to the back. Your build should be looking like this so far. Now here's what you are going to have to do. You are going to have to remove these blocks right here, then move to the front to place another pole. This pole will support the aircraft from falling during the next step. Once you guys have done that, you are going to break these two poles, and once you have done that, you are going to make the back a little bit shorter. So that is looking good, now we need to extend it. Essentially what you guys are going to want to do is build a platform that is 3x3 in blocks. Once you have done that, add an extra 2 blocks to the end. And after this, extend it by 2 more blocks just like this. And once you have done that, add another section that is 5x2 blocks long. Finally, add a block and that should be it for this section. You are going to have to make your way to the side of the aircraft and you are going to have to repeat this pattern. Now this pattern is fairly easy to do, as you are basically just placing a block inside of another. You are going to have to do this on both sides. Now once you have done that, you are going to make your way to the bottom of the aircraft where you add some detail. You guys are essentially just trying to shape the bottom of the aircraft so it looks more natural. I usually do this to all my other builds and the outcome looks really good. The front of any aircraft is probably the most difficult section to build. If you need, you can stop the video at any time. I will make sure to go slow. So basically the front of the plane will be composed of a lot of blocks being placed inside of each other. We will adjust this as we go. Once you have done that, you're going to want to extend it all the way to the back. After you have done that, you're going to want to keep extending the block so that you are placing them inside the other block just like I did. Once again, do the same to the other side. And once you have finished that, you need to go to the front of the plane again. And now, once you are here, you are going to want to place 3 blocks just like this. You will also have to place a block here. Now with that out of the way, we are going to start shaping the canopy. So you are going to start off by placing 2 rows of 2 on either side. And you guys are going to have to extend this all the way to the back, but not quite, just like this. And once you guys get to this point, you want to move towards the middle and then keep extending it towards the back. Remember, you will also have to do the same on the other side. You guys are also going to have to place a block in the back just like this. Now once you guys are back at the front of the aircraft, you are going to have to place a block within a 4 block gap. And once you guys have done that, place another block just like this. Now, just like every other tutorial, the glass is always the hardest part in my opinion. Essentially, you're just repeating the same pattern over and over. Now, I have slowed down the video a little bit just so it's easier to follow.
All right, we are almost on the canopy. We just need to fix up the glass just a little bit. To do this, you're going to have to extend the glass by a few blocks. Once you have done that, you're going to have to place a few blocks around the back of the glass. And once you have done that, place a few blocks right here on both sides. Now with that out of the way, we are going to extend the metal to the back of the plane. You guys are going to have to start off by placing a few blocks that are three blocks long. Once you guys have done that, you need to bring it down by half a block and then extend it towards the back. Once you guys get to this point, you need to move it in by half a block and then extend it towards the back, just like I did. Once you guys have done that, you are going to have to add some detail towards the top. The first section is 2x4 blocks, and then the second section is just another 4 blocks. This shape will serve as the basic fuselage of the aircraft. I'm just going to make a minor change here. Alright, now it is time to move on to the wings. So you guys are going to have to find a spot that is relatively around this area. The size of the first wing section is 8 blocks long and 6 blocks wide. You guys are going to have to do this on the other side as well. Once you have filled in both sides, you will need to take off one row from both ends. After that, you will have to place a few blocks at a half a block towards the middle, and then continue this pattern until I stop. Obviously we'll make changes to the profile of the wing, but as of now just follow what I'm doing. You can now fill it in. If you guys want, you can make an adjustment to the wingtip. Basically, what you need to do now is to repeat the whole thing on the other side. And with that done, you need to destroy the wingtips. We're doing this so that the wing looks more natural. So you guys are going to extend it by 3, and after that you are going to have to place a few blocks just like this. Now do the same on the other side. After that, you guys are going to need to place three blocks here, followed by another two blocks, and then repeat this on the other side. Next, you'll have to find a suitable spot around the back of the plane, and this is where we are going to start building. This section will be four blocks wide on both sides, and you're going to have to extend it by five. Once you guys have extended it by 5 blocks, you are going to have to do the same on the other side and fill it in. For the rudders, we are going to need to trim off one row of blocks, and also trim off another row so it is 3 blocks wide, because we are going to fix this later on. 
And then you guys are going to need to pay close attention to how I'm going to make this because this, in my opinion, is the second most confusing part of the build. To start off, you're going to be placing two rows of three facing upwards just like this. After you have done this, you need to do the same on the other side. The next thing you guys are going to do is place three blocks like this and stack them upwards in groups of two like I did. What we are aiming to achieve is the distinctive shape that the A10 has on the back of it. Basically you now need to repeat the same thing on the other side and fill it in. After that you are going to need to find the spot near the back and place a row of 5 blocks on both sides. This will support the engines. Now you guys are going to have to place 2 blocks just like this on both sides and turn your merging level to red. This is done because we are going to be placing some blocks that are a little bit inside of each other. You guys are going to have to build the engine just like this on both sides. After that you guys are going to have to extend it just until about here and do the same for the other side. Now we are going to go to the front of the engine to extend it by one block. Finally, you are going to place a few blocks right here to act as extra supports. You guys are going to need to break off this little section of the engine and add it to the front. I know, I know I said to extend it by this much like not too long ago, but it's all trial and error. But yeah, you just need to extend the engine by one block in this direction. And also extend this little bit by one block. After you have fixed that, you need to place one block in both of the engines and you need to make sure that you place it so it is one and a half blocks back. We are going to be placing a pole inside of it. Make your way to the back of the plane and you guys need to make an outline of the engines with the poles. Once you have done that, feel free to place a neon block inside of the engine. Finally, you are going to go to the front of the engine and do the same thing that you did with the back of the engine with the poles. The wheels are very simple to do, you just need to find this part of the wing and place 4 blocks just like this. Next you are going to go underneath the wing and extend it by 2 blocks in both ways and place one more behind it. Once again do the same to the other side. We are going to work on the wings again. Essentially we are going to extend this area right here. Again you can pause the video at any time if you need time to build. In my opinion by doing this it makes the wings look a little bit more natural and realistic of course. Once you guys have done one side move on to the other side and do the exact same thing. At the bottom of the wing you guys are going to add some wheels. These wheels are super easy to do, all you need to do is just place a few poles like this. Also don't forget to place one at the front. The one part of the A10 that makes it truly iconic is the Avenger gun. To build this we are going to place a few poles like this. And that's about it, time to add detail. What I like to do is add a bunch of poles to make it look more realistic. 
It's really up to you how you want your plane to look. You guys don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm choosing to accept my rudders in by one block. Although all of this fixing up is repetitive, it'll all be worth it at the end. If you do decide to do this with your rudder, then you could also place a row of blocks just like this. After that, you guys can add paint, add weapons, add whatever else you need to add, and then boom, you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, do comment, do subscribe. I really appreciate it, and as always, see you guys in the next video.